All right, guys, now that I've got your attention, you know, got your attention, we're going to talk about your penises because penises, some of them don't work, some of them do. Most of them doing good. Some of them don't work as well as you wish they would have worked. Then they invented these magic little pills like Cialis and Viagra, and they make them work even better, and you're a happier person for it. But today I've got a solution to the problem that's separating you from that magical help, which is the doctor. And GetRoman.com is a website that has online doctors. And I'm not talking about like some guy over on the other side of a computer. You're talking about legitimate doctors licensed in your state that evaluate your condition through the computer and will diagnose, prescribe, and then mail you discreetly the stuff that will help you out and make you a much happier person. Erectile dysfunction is never a standalone condition. It's usually an indicator of something else going wrong with the body. It could be high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, the result of smoking, or just not even getting enough sleep. A lot of pills that you'll get online are counterfeit, and who wants to, like, eat paint? Because it makes the pill blue, it's just, just bad news. Ultimately, GetRoman.com slash SSR, you get your first month for free, and you can take care of that business that you've been meaning to take care of and just never had the, the courage to sort of step through that doorway. But I promise you, on the other side of that door is where you want to be. All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and I told you I got another vehicle. And it's, uh, I guess, time to reveal it. And as I walk you around down this way, half of you guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, guy got a truck. Well, I don't really consider it a truck. I consider it more of a tractor because uh, it's not this, uh, it's this. And I was driving along and forgive the tire, but I saw this and I was like, you know what? That would make my life a lot easier. And uh, I've got, uh, and I don't wanna, I enjoy taking care of my own property. And I've got a riding mower right now, but the riding mower is only like standard, whatever, 60 inch. No, not 60 inch, like whatever it is. It's not big. Um, and it takes me a minute to, to take care of the property. So I saw this and I was like, I can get a PTO driven mower. And this is just, this is like icing on the cake underneath this. And this thing has some patina. I've been thinking about painting it or what I'm going to do to it. But underneath this front end loader, it's just a, a, a standard like cool ass tractor. And it's got I mean, five, what is it? Not five foot tires. Well, let's just say it's got, uh, yeah, it's a five foot tire because I'm five nine and I got about a, a solid nine inches above this. But it's going to help me take care of my yard and hopefully I'll cut the job in half. In my yard, I end up cutting it not as frequently as I would like to because it takes me a while and I just don't really have that much time. And this is going to save me time. And I think it's cool as shit anyway. Like I've always, ever since I saw that uh, Lambo tractor on Bring a Trailer, I've been eyeballing tractors. And when I saw this one right down the road, uh, it, was, it was sort of a no-brainer. Now, it's a PTO-driven uh, mower that's going to attach here. And it's about, I think, four, like I can do the job in a third of the time with this versus my standard mower. Now, it doesn't have a key or anything like that. And it doesn't have a lot of horsepower. But the coolest thing about tractors is that there's like all these ordinances where I can, I, I really think I could drive this through Manhattan. I mean, I would probably take the front end off of it and just like, just I green acres my way through Manhattan in this thing. But uh, that's another time, another place. But I mean, it's so empowering to sit up here. I mean, I, next time I'm gonna drive it to my house when we get the tire fixed but uh, it's allowed to go on public roads. And I'm sort of really excited about this. This is a very cool, it's like another toy. I mean, not everything has to be a, a sports car. It's just nice to have these toys in the collection. All right, let's fire this thing up. You know, I can only do some bad stuff here. It's just, oh, cool. It's a little, I mean, it's, let's not pretend like it's the cleanest tractor around. But to me, it's perfect. Here's my little shifter. Oh yeah. See how many gears we got here. Tractor people are like, he has no idea what he's doing. And you're right, I don't. I just bought it because it's one of those things that's like, what do you want for that? And I was like, I'll give you up 500 less than you're asking. He's like, no problem. And we got myself a tractor. 
it's one of those things that whoop that's probably whoop yep that's the brake parking brake see we started moving right there that's uh gravity so i guess that would lock the brake in i gotta figure out how all this works but okay that's in gear again at least how do you keep the emergency brake down so i got a little bit of a a learning curve on this but if you see give me the camera jim give me the camera the view from up here is like you're driving along you got your gauges right there i mean that's pretty cool like bopping along you're up here i mean this is that's a full-size pickup truck down there and you're just i'm gonna have to gopro this thing and it's an incredibly simple machine. Uh, I can probably, if, uh, and I don't know, this, these levers are for the, uh, the front end loader, which I don't know what the, the purpose is. It's gonna help me get stuff around the yard when I'm doing gardening and, and uh, moving a lot of uh, dirt around the yard or doing anything with mulch or whatever. But uh, it's just gonna be a useful toy. Here you go, Jim, right back to you. But I'm gonna say, and I'm not gonna fire it up now, cause like I'm probably gonna drive it into the street, and I don't know how my insurance works with that. Um, but this, we got the clutch, we got the shifter, which is sort of awkward. Is this a the old? There we go. That's a gear. So that's at least reverse forward, if I were to guess. There's a, another gear. Double clutching at uh, granny shifting. All right, so it's got at least four gears. Ah, maybe it's uh, five at least. Whatever. It's um, there's a lot to learn here. I can mount my little iPod down here. Maybe some Beats headphones, and I could just bounce around my yard. And it's cool. Like in the fall, I mean, you know, I mean, you've all gone apple picking. I hope uh, I'm gonna hook up one of the um one of those uh the, the hay rides and i'm gonna bring my kids around the yard because they love that and instead of me going and spending 20 bucks a person to do it i just handled that with one try i mean i gotta buy the the uh what do you get the trailer for it but uh it'll be fun i'm excited for this how do i get this to stay down all right let's see this is me learning as i go so it's in gear you would think that that locks. That doesn't do anything. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the brake when I got here was locked. And I think it's got something to do with that. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I'm going to write my own instructions for this thing. But it's very cool. It doesn't go fast. I think it goes 10 miles an hour. So perfect for Manhattan or for cutting my grass. These tires, I mean, I've always wanted to own something with such large tires. Uh, I never wanted to replace tires so large, but I can't imagine in the 10 or 20 years that I'll own this thing that I'll ever have to swap these out. So there you go. Uh, I think this is a, is a pretty awesome pickup. I, I love the color on the truck and I am up in the air and I like just, just having a springy seat. Yeah. I mean, that's like, like, that's cool. But, um, just, I was thinking about painting it like the, uh, like the Shelby paint scheme, the blue, the white with the blue stripes on it. And uh, Jeff, who sold it to me, is trying to talk me out of it and saying the patina, the, the, the class, and not even the class, the, um, the character of this is so much more attractive than a tractor that looks like that. But I think given my car collection, and everything like that, a tractor that looks like if it was a Lambo tractor, even the Lambo tractor, I would have the one I was looking at was restored, but it went for like 35 grand or something stupid. But, uh, and it had tracks on it, which is cool as shit. Uh, this would be much nicer on the, uh, when I'm driving over something, grass or driveway, it's not gonna chunk it up. But 
I bet you didn't see this one coming. Uh, I saw this and I just sort of had to have it. And you may chalk it up to one of my dumb purchases and one of those things that, you know, when you walk through and you buy something because you need it and then you bring it home and you never use it. At least this will get use. And I, I know what some of you guys are saying. Why don't you just hire a landscaper? You know, I enjoy doing it. I've always enjoyed doing it. I used to cut the grass with my parents. And even at my parents' house, we didn't have a very big house, but we had a, my dad had one of those like, uh, to save, not, not that it was saving a lot of money, but in my head it was like exercise and saving money. We had the rotational blade push mower. And I took that old school mower and I'd cut the grass with that old school mower. And I felt like I got a workout out of it and I saved some money on gas, which at the time gas was probably 80 cents a gallon. But, um, you know, I just, it's something I enjoy. Uh, I, I always had a garden growing up. We had tomatoes, all sorts of fun stuff. Tomatoes, cucumbers, strawberries that always gotten eaten by the rabbits. But uh, I'm looking forward to having another garden and being able to use this to make my life easier because it's not that I don't enjoy doing stuff. I just don't have enough time to do stuff. So when I find a way to do stuff quicker, I'm a very happy guy. And I mean, I don't care who you are, this thing's fun. It looks fun. I mean, it's got a bucket in the front. I can lift things up. And I, uh, I've driven bigger things, to be honest with you. I've driven, uh, I've driven larger front end loaders. I've driven backhoes, all sorts of stuff. But, um, but having that big front end loader, and I used to use it for snow plowing, but I mean, you're talking the cab was up above this, the height of this tractor even. But there you go. And when I looked at it before I bought it, this was leaking. It looks like he fixed that. And the rest is going to be history. Now, I'm going to have, uh, I, I don't want to bring this to my house now without getting this tire. And I'll probably swap both front tires. Um, if, if these tires go flat at my house, then I got to figure out a way to jack it up. And I could probably jack it up by pushing the the bucket down to lift it up, but I don't, I just don't want to play around with that. I'll just get the new tires on it and I won't have to worry about it. Um, and if it ever needs service, I'll just have to, I don't know, have somebody come to the house and service it. But it's cool to see, and I'm trying to see if it, that's almost like a suspension. Do you see how the entire body is shifted off of this, off of that nut? I think, because it's a solid axle in the front, I think the top, shifts back and forth for a smoother ride. Yeah, buddy. It's just cool. Is it not cool? Jim, you could talk. Is it cool? I don't care. Jim doesn't care. I think it's cool. I'm probably going to take the chains off the tires. I don't see the need for the chains. If I'm fighting for traction with these, then, then that, that's a whole nother bag of worms. But there you are. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I figured I'd throw you, throw you a curveball, and I picked myself up a, a tractor, which is cool. And uh, I don't know anyone who, um, who doesn't get excited about doing stuff like this and driving stuff like this. And if I do know those people, then they probably clicked off a long time ago and they didn't make it to that. Everybody that made it to this point of the video was like, yeah, I would love to get on that. And you know what? Maybe at some point in time, you'll have a chance to drive my tractor. What is it, Farmall? McCormick Farmall is the, uh, is the tractor and it's an international front end loader. Now the, the bucket, I mean, it looks like it's been welded and sort of, it's seen better days, but as far as, instead of a wheelbarrow, just throwing stuff in there and then moving it around the yard, it will be much quicker. And this is gonna help me out. The first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of that uh, thorn bush. Jim knows the thorn bush. It's a thorn bush that I keep trying to like prune and get rid of. But uh, this thing, I think one foul swoop. Cool. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, we're going to do a simple poll here. To paint or not to paint. So do we want the tractor to look like that? White and blue? Or do we want the tractor to look, have the patina? That, that classic, classic look. And... I'm sort of cool either way. Um, it's not going to be the fanciest paint job, but the fact that this matches my truck right now, and I don't really like the way my truck looks, since I'm going to be buying a sandblaster, 
this isn't going to take much longer. It's going to it's going to take a, a half the time that the uh, the truck is going to take to to clean off. There you go. There you have it. See you next time. Uh, actually, see you tomorrow because tomorrow we got some good stuff coming up. And there is a house update coming up. Um, the brief house update is that my application for construction got denied and I'm waiting on the resolution, which I was supposed to have after 45 days, but now it's 90 days or whatever. It's been a long time. So uh, I can, once I get the resolution, I can tell you exactly why it was denied uh, instead of speculating. But uh, I'm gonna have to revise and resubmit my application and uh, I'll give you a, a, an update as to what, when I get the, the resolution as to what I was denied for, I can show you on the plans what the initial plan was, what it was modified down to uh, for submission, and ultimately uh, what I'm gonna be doing from there because I can't wait to have the house. Like I, I have a house that I bought to make my dream house and like I keep like in Donkey Kong, you keep jumping over barrels and uh, you're just waiting for them barrels to stop. So we're working on it, working on it. Every one barrel at a time though. Again, I'm out, this is the official, I'm out. Third time I said that. By the way, I'm just kidding.